now everyone here connected to anything that has to do with ancestry anything that has to do with bloodline everything that seems to have a legal hold over your life right now in the name of jesus i decree and declare at the count of three by the fire of the holy ghost it will consume that devil now one two help them three be free now please help them be free now be free now Help those under the anointing, please. Any family here with the yoke of death on their head, everyone here with the yoke of untimely death, I decree and I declare right now by this kapakos kotobekata, by this oil of preservation, death, I command you pass over their family pass over their destinies pass over their families hear me every demonic mark over your life attracting men attracting tragedies attracting losses to your life your business your ministry your career by the power that raised christ from the dead by the blood of the lamb may that mark be erased forever erased forever erased forever erased forever hear me everyone here who comes close to prophecy but never handles it you see it in your dreams you are just one step to receiving it and then something in the name of jesus every spirit assigned to frustrate you i stand on this altar by the blood of the lamb i decree help them please i command an end to that oppression now an end to that oppression now help those under the anointing please There are people here, anything you start does not last. There is no problem in starting. You have done too many things this year alone, but none of them has been sustained. Whether it's business, whether it's ministry, whether it's a relationship, whether it's marriage, nothing you do lasts. I decree and declare, by this oil of preservation on your life, whatever cuts short prophecy from your destiny, let it be cancelled now cancelled now cancelled now cancelled now every spirit that makes tomorrow worse than yesterday that means all your achievements and everything that makes you happy is always in yesterday you see people sit down and they never discuss what god is doing it is always something that happened something that happened as though tomorrow does not have anything good i decree and declare whatever makes your moral your tomorrow to keep diminishing in quality and value i decree and i prophesy over you let that spirit leave your destiny now hear me anyone here who is in ministry particularly and it looks like the more the ministry is extending in age the more everything is going down whether in membership whether in impact whether in visibility you may be following online i'm standing here under the corporate anointing with all the servants of god here and we decree and declare whatever makes ministry a frustrating adventure for you that it looks like you are called but nothing in your life shows that you are called by the power that raised christ from the dead we cast that spirit now yeah. 
the same applies to business the same applies to career your tomorrow i repeat should never never be worse than yesterday now hear me if there is anyone here who is struggling with any terminal disease particularly something that is already eating you up that is already plunging you towards death or anyone here having dreams and all you keep seeing are dead people dead relatives people who have died interacting with you or whatever it is the living and the dead have nothing in common therefore this night by this oil of preservation be separated forever be separated forever and any human agent in partnership with demonic spirits to invoke death or pain or losses or tragedy over your life and your endeavors in the name of Jesus Christ we decree and declare this oil upon you becomes an oil of judgment against them <laughs> hallelujah if there is anyone here that you have been marked in the realm of the spirit for kidnap by any terrorist group whether in this nation or around the world i stand in the name of jesus as one sent of god i decree and declare that anybody who stands by the road to kidnap you i command the earth to fight them in the name of jesus whether in the day whether in the night every devil walking through men that will stand by the road to kidnap or oppress you may the earth fight them in the name of jesus and every manifestation of accidents whether by road whether by sea whether by air hear me if you enter that plane or that car then it will not crash please believe these are not empty words these are not empty words at all let me pray for your children whether you are there with them or not wherever your children are may this prophetic word go ahead of them and preserve them <laughs> hallelujah i think he was in the I, I i don't i don't i don't watch the news so much but I, I saw something on the news or so about a young boy was it one young boy i think he's in nigeria here that was killed or i think i hope i'm right with that story i don't i really didn't follow the story but i said what sort of a thing is this i'm saying it again wherever your children are if there is anyone who could not get to you and now wants to come through your children whether biological whether adopted or spiritual in the name of jesus christ quarter to shame and disgrace may my god arise and speak for you hallelujah and everybody who has been commanded to come into your life as an answered prayer and the devil is delaying them and yet you are suffering from that delay you are suffering whether business whether relationship whether family whether prophetic connection anybody that should show up in your life and destiny to accelerate prophecy wherever they are I command divine acceleration to you the wine presser was supposed to talk to the king fast about Joseph but because of his carelessness Joseph spent two extra years it was the delay of the bridegroom that punished five other virgins they were all virgins but simply because the, the bridegroom chose to delay that was why their oil finished whatever will cut short your joy and your laughter in the name of jesus especially during this season 
I prophesy to you by the power of the Holy Spirit whatever will not make you laugh and rejoice let it go for your sake hallelujah this is not our last service but i just feel stirred to rebuke the spirit of fear and then we're done many people are afraid right now because of the festive season there is no money how will my children eat how will i travel can i speak to you dear family of faith have no fear i want to speak to you there is the prophetic dimension of the supplies of the kingdom if you have never had a christmas celebration or a new year celebration with joy and gladness in the name of jesus may this be one with a difference in your life may god raise men you do not know may god raise systems and structures in the name of jesus christ hallelujah here and there people can have illnesses malaria whatever it is and just take drugs and deal with it but there are people here from beginning of this year till now you have not been free from drugs because as soon as one is finishing another one is starting your leg your head your kidney this one is no longer a medical issue in the name of jesus i agree with you if there is anything in your body now that was sent to kill you that is not just a biological occurrence you think it may just be sickness but it's an arrow sent from hell to ensure that you die in the name of jesus that arrow goes back to the devil there are families that it is not sickness that plagues them but this spirit of poverty even if you make so, that someone in that family a director in nmpc they will still be poor are we together there are many people who will bring certificates for you three doctors phd in the family and none of them has a good job what kind of thing is that there are people who have been in this city the land itself has rejected them everything fights you everything fights you mm -mm. is someone learning maybe there's someone watching there's someone following and you're saying apostle you are just describing my situation as a family we we don't know what the problem is don't know what the problem is you take in and after two three months here comes this strange and wicked spirit and somebody comes to molest you and by the next day or a few days after you lose the pregnancy that one will need more than medical attention that one will need a miracle service like this in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i know someone who vowed to help a man and i'm telling you i, I kid you not by the next day the person went to the office and the person said i cannot remember seeing you Abba, you can't remember seeing me when you said i should come with my cv tomorrow for instance and give me a job what happened mm. hallelujah what of people who actually get things but they don't have longevity in their life i don't mean physical longevity nothing stays long the moment they have money just start praying for them because it's a matter in one month it goes down once you give them a position just know that in in two or three weeks in that office something must happen then they must lose it it's like if you don't lose good things the realm of the spirit is at a, a state of unrest if there is anything that is on anybody's head here that followed you for this meeting i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit i lift it up from you now i lift it up from you now I lift it up from you now hallelujah 
I know someone who traveled abroad responsibly. Just when they were checking people at the immigration, I think I've shared the story. They were looking for somebody who was a thief. And they saw him and I think there was a up to 50% resemblance with the thief. And they moved him to one room. Just like that, I don't look like a rich man. I don't look like somebody who is impacting the world. My face now looks like a thief. Ah, no. Every wrong, every veil in the name of Jesus that is programming evil over you, that makes evil to look like good and good to look like evil, I declare that veil is torn from your face. Torn from your face. Torn from your face. Torn from your face. hallelujah please hear me true story someone was begging for money from somebody to take care of an emergency in the hospital this is a true story and when the person was doing the transfer something came on the person and he missed the account by one digit and he sent the money to someone else this is a true story see the thing I've, the things i've seen in this life bar by reason of ministry how do you plan to bless someone then it's when it's now your turn they miss it by a digit what was that other person praying that his own account was the one that came listen do you know that god is called you read your bible the sons of jacob i hope you know jacob had 12 sons is that true the first of them was reuben read your bible your bible students Jesus is never called the lion of the tribe of Reuben. What happened to the firstborn? Not even Simeon. How did Judah come out to become the lion of the tribe of Judah? When Jacob was blessing his sons, you read your Bible now. He looked at Reuben and he said, you are my strength. You are the, the excellency of my strength. But you are as unstable as a wind. He said, thou shall not excel. And even Jesus, when he came, he refused to identify with that man he would have polluted his own ministry not lion of the tribe of Reuben not lion of the tribe of Simeon lion of the tribe of Judah so don't say we are the most enlightened family in our area the realm of the spirit rearranges based on the covenants you are standing on did you hear what i said it is you can claim whatever you want to claim the realm of the spirit with digital precision will rearrange everything based on the, the code that it was programmed with that means it is possible to be a man physically but the realm of the spirit brings you to a position of a woman and you will find out that you cannot feed your wife because the realm of the spirit does not yet authorize and recognize you as the Abba, the bread provider. You can be a graduate in a family and the one who takes care of them is the one that did not even go to primary school. Because in the realm of the spirit, that person is standing on a covenant that the realm of the spirit recognizes that one as a breadwinner. I'm saying that because we're about to pray. This miracle service, don't worry, we'll finish on time. Don't say I'm still teaching. This is the deliverance you are receiving. No, tonight you have to be angry. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus. Enough is enough. Hallelujah. Can I tell you? Do you know how many gifted people are in this nation and in Africa? world ministers music ministers these are people that are supposed to be at a global level but this foundation has kept them you talk with them you are like what are you still doing here there are people who will listen to you and say you are the exact person our company is looking for and after three years they will pass you every day and never call you for a job 
they would bring an ignorant person and train the person send the person to france return the person back and give the person a job whereas you already have the qualification how about ministers of the gospel just because you are sincere let me tell you the truth liking you is a grace make no mistakes about that the liking you and receiving of your ministry generationally speaking is a grace you can be sincere and do all you want to do it will still not work is someone learning now wicked spirits programmed in foundations it's like they tie you with a rope just when you are moving you are about to obtain this the way it pull your father it pulls you back you are on your way going whether you are a preacher it pulls you back just when you are reaching your destiny helper it pulls you back in the name of jesus whatever has tied you i cut it away from you right now i cut it away from you right now i'm saying it again i cut it away from you See, listen can I tell you believe me when I tell you you can know that you have had victory over your foundation the result will speak instantly a job that was difficult suddenly comes listen job chapter 42 give us verse 10 and 11 let me show you something you can know when a demonic resistance holding you has left the realm of the spirit and the physical realm will bear witness because the earth listen to me the earth even water is a witness and the lord turned the captivity of job when he prayed for his friends so the lord gave job twice as much as he had but 11 is where i'm really going to what suddenly happened to him you can know captivity has turned around watch this then there came unto him all his brethren and all his sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintance before question what drove them you think they just left you think they did every one of them started feeling like hey, what is why is job's issue coming to my heart that's because something was corrected in the realm of the spirit watch this the bible says they did eat bread with him in his house they bemoaned him and comforted him over the evil that the lord had brought unto him and then this is how god restored him every man also gave him a piece of money so they had it before while he was suffering the same way your uncle has it and is aware that you are in this city you have sent a text sent a text stop sending a text come for miracle service carry an anointing upon your head I hope you believe what I'm teaching you everyone gave him a piece of money what kind of business was he going to start in that state of pain how long would it take him so the Lord restored in the realm of the spirit but physically things started happening can I tell you the truth you can know doctors when a patient has malaria how do you know the patient has malaria or typhoid there are signs is that true he goes to the hospital and there's what they call vital signs. Am I right, medical people? You now begin to check. Ah, uh -uh. temperature is running. The person is um, maybe vomiting, stooling, or doing whatever. How do you know the patient is recovering? You know the patient is recovering because things begin to change. Are there times when you take drugs and find out that the drug did not affect the intended change? You still go back to the doctor and say, this drug did not work. They will now do a further test and say, ah, we thought it was this. So just because it was a drug did not mean it solved every problem. As far as your body is concerned, you didn't take a drug. Even though you were on one week medication, your body did not recognize it because it was not the solution. Don't say I have been praying. Don't say they prayed for me. When you take malaria drug, for for what now 
typhoid it may not work but it is still drug tonight the right drug is coming on your head yes, sir. in the name of jesus christ as i'm declaring over you you may not know what is changing for some of you as i'm declaring it's not only your health by tomorrow if phone calls you will wake up with phone calls and say what is happening to me what is changing in my life listen please hear me believers let me tell you the truth by the power of the holy spirit i've been mandated to insist that your life produces results hallelujah undeniable unquestionable results some of you by reason of what is on your life you are supposed to be building houses for people not even looking for rent honestly because in terms of value you have worked on yourself let me pray for someone again what is sitting on your destiny that will not let you and your family rise by the power that is in the name of jesus here at koinonia all oh, be lifted from your life be lifted from your life be lifted from your life that demonic embargo psalm 3 psalm 3 please help us media psalm 3 and verse 1 lord how they are they increased that trouble me many are they that rise up against me verse 2 many there be which say of my soul there is no help for you in god verse 3 but thou O lord at a shield for me my glory and the lifter up of my head are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that nothing keeps my head down in this season i am lifted supernaturally lift your voice and begin to pray but also lord at a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Acts chapter 12 please give it to us quickly Acts chapter 12 from verse 4 the Bible says that Peter was kept in prison and the Bible says they kept him in prison intending that after Easter they would bring him out so that the people would kill him verse 5 Peter therefore was kept in prison but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him what happened and when Herod would have brought him forth the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door that kept the prison verse 7 the Bible says and behold the angel of the Lord came upon him and light shined in the prison and they smote Peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and the chains fell off from his hand verse 8 and the angel said unto him guard thyself and bind up thy sandals and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment before thee and follow me 
verse 9 the bible says and he went out and followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel but he saw as though he was in a vision 10. Hmm. and when they were past the second the first gate there were three gates the first gate brought him out of the prison the second gate was midway and the bible says they came onto the iron gate that led to the city listen to me this is the gate that stops visibility there is a gate that stops the visibility of men it says the gate leads to the city your business can be there but there is an iron gate listen and the bible says that the gate opened on its own accord when that gate opens the next thing you see is the city it's the gate that controls influence are you ready to pray in the name of jesus every gate standing my way of influence and visibility i declare be broken right now lift your voice and pray he has broken the gates of god and put the bars of iron in thunder he has broken the gates of God and put the bars of iron in summer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen to me. We are going to pray against delay. It was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of others to finish. If the bridegroom came early, all ten of them will see him. They all had oil, but because the bridegroom delayed, the oil of others finished and they missed out. You are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my destiny. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and pray. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my business. Speed to my career. Someone is praying. Pray, pray, outside pray, online pray, make the peace in the name of Jesus. 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 We are still praying over speed. Look at me. Listen. The unit of destiny is time. God can bring you help speedily. Are we together now? Yes. We are going to pray. The Bible says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of ahab down to Israel. we are going to pray lord bring speed to my life bring speed to my life lift your voice and begin to prophesy speed 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 someone prophesy someone declare speed to my destiny speed to my destiny Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 125, verse 3. Psalm 125, verse 3, please. The Bible says, The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Why? Lest the righteous put their hands in iniquity. The rod of the wicked. You are going to command every finger of darkness and evil over your life, your family, your children. You are going to command it to give way. Are you ready? Lift your voice and pray. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the Lord of the righteous. Hallelujah. 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 Job chapter 5, please. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. We are praying. Please take this prayer serious. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. Are you ready to read? Want to read with me? He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven shall no evil touch you. Number one. Next verse, please. In famine. He shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. Next verse. Thou shalt be hid from the scourging tongues of men. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Why? Listen. It says, for thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field. That means nobody can use any element of creation to make enchantments against me. You use sand, you, I, I have a covenant with the elements of creation that they will not fight me because I was given dominion over them. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, no enchantment, no divination against my life and my destiny shall try. Lift your voice and pray. I am in covenant. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant with the stone. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Please read with me. Are you ready? One to read. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace. How long? Always. By all means. If it means clearing the troublemakers out of the way, by all means. If it means making a way, by all means. Lift your voice and say, Lord, by all means, give me peace. 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 By all means, Oh, 
Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound. There are people physically, you see them moving. But in the realm of the spirit, the Bible says that they are bound. Next verse. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn in Zion. Verse 3. It says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Verse 4, I receive it for myself. It says, and they shall build the old waste, they shall raise up the former desolations, and shall repair the waste cities and desolations of many generations. Verse 5, and strangers... This is where we are getting to. You don't need to know who will help you. Strangers. And strangers shall stand and see. Listen, listen, listen. Strangers shall stand and feed your flock. It says, and the sons of aliens or foreigners shall be your plowmen. This was what happened to a man called Mephibosheth. The Bible says, and David said, is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And they called a man called Ziba who had 15 sons. The Bible says he sent him to Lodeba. He said, there is a crippled man called Mephibosheth. Go and fetch the man, the king said. When he came, he said, although you are crippled, even Mephibosheth said, am I a dog that the king will be sending for me? He said the children of Ziba would plow the land for him. He said, but as for you, Mephibosheth, you will eat with me at my table here forever. Keep that scripture there. Listen, this scripture is a deliverance scripture. Stop thinking the miracle will come through the person you know. It's none of your business how God will bring you the breakthrough. Stop troubling your uncle, your auntie. Every time you are saying, God, visit me, your mind is going to a particular person. That real estate man. Leave God to decide who, like a movie director. Let him decide who will come with the blessing. Are you ready to pray? Make decrees in this season. Strangers are feeding my flock. Strangers are feeding my flock. The sons of Elias are coming to bless me. Hell, prepare blessings rising from everywhere. Hallelujah. Two prayer points and we're done. Are you ready to pray? We are going to pray for Nigeria. How many of you know that we owe a responsibility to pray for this nation? You see the happenings around this nation? The church should not be silent. It's not about going around to make all kinds of unguarded statements. Our assignment is to pray. Pray like believers with intelligence. He said, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper who love you. We are going to pray. We cannot fold our arms and allow the devil to continue to destroy people. You heard the testimony of our dear auntie here. The precious daughter just came out of the her school. And these wicked, evil people entered a car. And that's how they carried her. Killed other innocent people. Whoever digs a pit for you, I stand by my God and I declare they must enter that pit. hallelujah now listen her man was plotting the annihilation of the jews and he was clearly cooperating with vashti and god needed to remove vashti and when god brought esther 
Esther forgot her assignment and she was enjoying the palace and Mordecai sent a warning that warning is for all of us every time you hear trouble somewhere don't say it's still far don't make the mistake of Esther Mordecai said do not think when they are done with us from afar you will be spared the moment you hear that there is trouble anywhere you owe a responsibility to stay the power of hell don't just say i am secured esther knew that if she kept quiet one day they would discover she were a jew and they would kill her and she took the risk i'm going to meet the king even without his invitation if i perish i perish one of the things i'm praying and trusting that god will do to the body of christ is to help us to rise to that point of maturity where we are able to take the corporate burden of the body even if personally there is nothing wrong with us are we together when you hear that there is an accident you don't just say oh the members of my church were protected it is a cry for everybody are we together now you must be able to hide your individualism so that the corporate good of the body will speak so just because nothing happened to your business during the pandemic just because you are okay just because you have security forces around your house does not mean you should negate the fact that our nation needs help as responsible believers part of the ministry of priesthood is to stand and midwife deliverance and say no lord it cannot happen not in our lifetime this kind of evil that plagued the nations we must stand as priests Are we together for a very long time we have been largely very selfish once trouble does not come near you you read the news and say oh that's fine it is them once it is not your child that is kidnapped no problem no we are going to pray in one minute engage in strategic prayer listen the seasons of attack in a believer's life or a season of pruning and making they are seasons of deep spiritual emphasis they are seasons of prayer and intercession that's not the time to pray morning and evening that's the time to pray anyhow and anytime because you are in a season your anchor will be your prayer hallelujah day and night you are praying lord i don't know what is happening to my life but i'm praying you have your prayer time in the morning you have your prayer time in the evening but every time is prayer time every time is prayer time an evil report your wife just lost her child what are you doing i am praying why i'm in a season is any man afflicted james chapter 5 and verse 13 let him pray let him pray not let him discuss not let him grumble around not let him call god names and say i will backslide let him pray psalm 34 please from verse 4 to 7 and then the last part and we will pray psalm 34 i sought the lord and he heard me and delivered me from what all my fears next verse we are reading to four to seven they looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed six the poor man cried and the lord heard him and saved him out of how many all his troubles last verse the angel of the lord encampeth around them that fear him and delivereth them prayer is a powerful weapon in all seasons but especially this season lord what is happening around my life my wife just got attacked my son just got attacked my job just got attacked i am not understanding what is happening i set myself like daniel onto prayer god grants you grace you can add with fasting add with fasting 
this spiritual laziness of eating anyhow anytime many believers now fast as a ceremony three days fasting you carry it on your head as if you as if it's, it's 12 years fasting if you love food more than your destiny life will cheat you again and again food is okay oh but please let me tell you mighty ones you must learn to show food that your spirit man has grown above it there are many of you here you cannot remember i may be wrong i'm not saying you should do it please i'm not saying you should do it but as far as i'm concerned there are spiritual levels that if you get to a week should never pass that you did not fast you are joking you are joking not with what you are doing to hell you are joking seven days ah no <laughs> To the king who sits on the throne, to the king. Listen, let me tell you this. I will continue to teach you this secret. Real victory, real victory in prayer is gotten while men sleep real victory is not gotten shouting around just making noise real men of power contact power when men sleep may god give you the grace to rise above sleep i'm praying from the may god give you the grace do not allow sleep cheat you that god can wake you up in the night no light off the light you are praying don't allow distractions you are praying the next thing you see one of your trousers and it's enough to distract off the light you can use your phone light you are in the night alone and watch what happens you are nobody see what you are doing but there is a register every day you are signing it is the day you get to the stage to preach that's when god will not disappoint you You don't come on stage and talk nonsense lion of the tribe of judah rose of sharon lily of the valley rose of this and that and that god is not a scammer he's not a magician no track record in the secret place you will flatter yourself to nothing in it in the open please learn to pray in the night learn to pray in the night learn to pray in the night receive grace to dedicate night times and pray god didn't give you a house just to keep things turn everywhere to a prayer altar turn your toilet to a prayer altar turn your living room to a prayer altar when everyone has gone off the television don't pray watching a film even if it's a christian movie you are not praying shut it down lord this is me and you here i don't know what is happening to my life the time will come you feel like just leaning get up and say satan you're a liar i'm going far a time will come your tongues begin to change what you are saying it will never be what you started with you have you, you have entered a level in the spirit are languages and their levels of power contact groanings that cannot be uttered you get to a point in the spirit where you begin to pray 
There are times that only one word, one phrase will come out of your mouth for minutes. Praise for receiving power. Prayer is not something you do in a group so that people will see you and think you're a prayer warrior. Don't choke with your destiny like that. Don't choke with your destiny like that. The Bible says you enter and shut the door behind you. Shut the door behind you and pray to your father who is in secret. You don't need to have a prayer point. You don't need to have a prayer point. Just stay there and begin to pray. Shikas kaparakatos. Embrekete keleka takatos. Shikos kamanakata. And while you are praying, your flesh is weak, but your spirit is willing. Can I tell you this? There is a level of fire you bring on any attack in your life. It must give way. It must give way. Fire is an emblem of the spirit. It's one of the emblems of revival. It's one of the emblems that show that the spirit is in a place. Fire does not only refine. Fire is for judgment. There are times you need to stay like a priest upon the watch my brother and my sister if you pray from your heart some things will shift you will wake up in the morning and know i shifted this through prayer there are attacks that only prayer can challenge pray for me pray for me is wonderful but you must become the priest of your destiny can someone just blast in tongues for just one or two minutes? Salamakata. Shanakanda skama hasabash. Rakata pakato sopokoto shekete nekata. Embrata seneketo shanikata. Fasete shanahas kabarakos. Rekete kete kete skabarakatos. Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Lord, I'm in a season of my life. I cannot afford to be lazy. I'm in a season of my life. I cannot allow my prayer life go down. It's too risky. Not for this season. Not for this season. This is the wrongest time to be prayerless. This is the wrongest time to be prayerless. Oh, take away slumber from my eyes. Take away slumber, oh God. There are scores to settle in the realm of the spirit. There are things to shift in the realm of the spirit. There are things to align in the realm of the spirit. I need to legislate spiritual realities. While men slept, while men slept, the enemy came and sought the Pray. Pray. Outside, pray. Thank you. Who sees a poor rider? Shalabakatarekotosia, <laughs> 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are praying. Psalm 125. Prayer gives you stamina to pass through seasons. Jesus prayed, otherwise, you would have given up. He said, Peter, Satan desired to sift you like wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. And when you are converted, use the same strategy to strengthen, strengthen. Pray, I say, strengthener. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abided forever. Next verse. As the mountains are around Jerusalem, so the lord is round about his people from henceforth even forever next verse for the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lord of the righteous lest the righteous put his hands in iniquity next verse do good O lord unto those that be good and to them that are upright in their hearts we are reading to the last verse as for such as turn aside in their crooked ways the lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity but peace upon joshua selman prayer gives you stability in the next two three minutes you are going to pray and say lord let this prayer stabilize me i shouldn't be shaking over everything i should be able to laugh at certain storms and say jesus is lord lift your voice and pray Stability, power, stamina. The lifting power of God, let it rest upon you now. Can I tell you this? You will be ten times greater than your contemporaries. I say it again. You will be ten times greater than your contemporaries. Even in all age, I prophesy to you, you will be ten times greater than your contemporaries. Hear me? Anyone here overdue for promotion, and either by tribal sentiments or religion you have not been lifted, I stand by the God of heaven, and I decree, between now and the next three months, rise to the position that is due you. Now hear me one of the reasons why people do not rise to that position of greatness is because the people who are sitting there have not stood up can you hear me for as long as Vashti is still sitting Esther cannot be enthroned for as long the Bible never tells us whoever was sitting on Joseph's position either a space is created all the wrong people there must vacate it for you in any case and by all means i prophesy to you that anyone sitting on your seat of glory right now by the power that raised christ from the dead i overturn i overturn i overturn i overturn i overturn i overturn 
I overturn in business. I overturn in ministry. I overturn. I overturn. I overturn. I overturn. I overturn. I overturn. Until you sit there in the name of Jesus Christ. And anywhere you must get to that they say there is no space by prophecy I shift the space left and right and create a place for you I say it again I shift the space left and right politicians business people professionals we create a space of relevance for you I will hold on through the storms And I will hold on to your word My life will soon reveal You're the lifter of men Don't be tired Every word I speak is placing something on your head night could not King Ahasuerus sleep hear me there are many people whose lives you have helped but there is a spirit that came upon them to give what is supposed to be to you to another person and you keep wondering how do I keep helping people some of you are not lazy you have helped many people in this nation in this city can I tell you this please look up one day i was reading the story of naman and the bible tells us that a little slave girl who served his wife came and talked she spoke to him it was based on her recommendation and persuasion that the man went down to write a letter to the king and finally meet elisha hold on the bible says when he found out he had been healed he carried gifts is that true he carried gifts because you didn't come to see a prophet empty-handed he carried gifts and he took to elisha elisha rejected the gift and just healed him and gehazi unfortunately out of a life of compromise and dishonesty got into trouble the bible never shows us the gift he took to the slave girl i see the gift you took to the prophet who helped you but where is the gift of the slave girl whose persuasion was the one why you were healed there are many 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 people here you are the one that even brought so many people to koinonia here some of them have testified but where is yours that book of remembrance must be opened now hear me please receive this very prayer the bible says mordecai heard a few people who were conspiring because his assignment was to be a watcher at the gate and he found out that there were people who were plotting to kill the king to kill a king that controls 127 provinces you must be wicked people and he revealed that plot and the people were hung in the gallows and it was documented but he was not rewarded and the Bible says when his season had come that night just like this night let me say it again that night just like this night the king could not sleep and the king said bring me the Chronicles and they opened it where the archives of people who did good you know my Bible says withhold not good from them that it is due when it is within your power do not tell them go and come tomorrow when you can do it now it was within the power of the king to honor Mordecai but there had to be a spirit sponsored by the man Haman but that night when he opened the Chronicles he said read it for me and he found there the good works of Mordecai let me speak to someone even if it was 10 years ago it was written did you hear what I said? Even if it was 10 years ago you helped. For every time you help someone know Jesus. 
for every time you help someone find salvation you help someone maybe get a job it was written and under a certain condition the book can be opened and he said what has been done to this man they said nothing he said who is in the chamber a man was there and they called him he said Haman what shall I do to a man whom my heart delights to honor and foolish Haman thought it was him so he decided to describe an elaborate system of honor that the king would take his robe and put it on such a man and he will ride upon the king's horse all through the cities and somebody will be escorting him and shouting bow the knee he said this is what should be done to the man that the king has honored he said quickly make sure none of these words fail go and do the same to Mordecai I want to declare to somebody while you are in church here may God open the book and cause people to start discussing how to lift you let me say it again while you are in the house of God here may somebody somewhere in Abuja in Lagos in London in US in the name of Jesus Christ may they wake up from sleep God will wake them and seize their sleep and open up the file of your kindness and remind them and insist that you are blessed I prophesy this in the name of Jesus hallelujah I like you to pray from the depth of your heart that my everything cries for you Lord I pray that you give me an encounter tonight my everything cries for you Pali Shaba Sobrande Gebalatos Enemeke Posha Lagragabede Ketosiata you are my life you are my relevance you are my hope I build my life and my destiny upon you I trust you with my life I trust you with my everything give me an encounter tonight lift me up take me higher let me encounter your presence your spirit afresh For in Jesus name we pray for in Jesus name we pray the next five minutes is a serious time of prayer please no carelessness focus on Jesus minimize moving up and down and let's pray because I want to speak and release some graces upon your life I like you to pray whether you are seated whether you are standing whether you are lying on the floor I just want you to take some time and pray in the spirit in one minute go ahead and pray Shades Kabalakata Paranda Gelekosiata Rada Badaga de Belekatos. Those who are watching online, make sure you are connecting. If you are alone, pray. Jesus is there. This is a destiny defining moment. Kate Prakata Belekata Praska Baratos. E Prakata Pareska Pelanto Shalabaratosiata. Shataska Tefreska de Berenta Gebras. Ombra kata para kata fras kata belakates kebrende kata belakatosh lika para sabaranda bare kata lekaso sediata kraba taka tabrete kebretu siates. Pray, it's a new season for you. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Someone pray. It does not matter that you are coming from that lonely estate. The hand of his majesty lifting you by his spirit, revealing you. You are an effulgence of the glory of the Lord. That through your life, people will learn God afresh. Through your life, they will see the excellency of the power and of the wisdom of the spirit. Ate praskata belekato sopra tegebas Ranta 
Rasa praska bereska teleko shadis. Ekrati kebere nevegeta soto proto segetesh. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are still praying. Father, what area of revelation in my life is deficient? Open my eyes to see it. Go ahead and pray. What area? Is it my finances? Is it that I do not understand the dynamics of excelling in my spiritual life? Is it that I do not understand the wisdom of living and exerting dominion over the cosmos? Open my eyes, O oh God, that I may behold wondrous things. Call unto me and I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. The principles that make for character, the principles in the name of Jesus, the engracing that brings total freedom and liberty over curses, over yokes, over diabolic manifestations. Reveal, reveal by your spirit. Reveal by your spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point you are going to pray before I speak over your life. You know the area of needs that you have that you know when God steps in and it is sorted, it will truly give you the time to sort the king. Some of you maybe is housing. Some of you maybe is sorting out certain material things. The Bible says, ye have not because ye ask not. It says, he that told you have not asked for anything. It says, ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. I want you to open your mouth and unashamedly ask God. It is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Lord, sort this area of my life that I will have the liberty to serve you. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Your marriage, your finances, your children, your basic needs, your family, cry unto the God of heaven. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Shabras katabela katoska prande ke barusa siata ekra teka tebe katoska tebe lakosh rest round about in the name of Jesus. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. A businessman is praying in the name of Jesus. A career person is praying. Someone is need who is in need for employment of employment is praying. A man of God is praying. A prophet in the making, an apostle in the making. Pray from the depth of your heart. Let the maker of men make your life, sort your life, bring you rest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When your needs are met, I assure you that you will have the time to serve His Majesty. A lifetime is too long to have your needs met. A lifetime was designed to serve the King, not serve things, not look for things. Looking for things for the rest of your life is an erroneous use of destiny. Hallelujah. What you are about to receive is the engracing that now makes the things that you have learned. It says, now that ye know these things, if all I do is to leave you at the point of just discussions and knowledge, then I did not do you much. For every time God speaks, there is an engracing. The assignment of that grace is to rest upon you and to cause the things that you have heard to give you the impetus, the propelling force to move in obedience and to partner with your obedience to make manifest the things that you have believed. That is the assignment of the anointing. 
the assignment of the grace of God that follows his word is to back to propel you number one to obey and then in obeying to partner with your obedience now to make manifest the things that you have believed you are the covenant keeping God you are the covenant keeping God Yahweh Listen, as I speak over you, I want you to shake away that lie that the devil has told you you will never rise. I want you to shake away that demonic belief. Just because you came from the village, shake away that demonic belief. Apostle, I've lived a wayward life. I've lived a scattered life. Do not worry. In his presence, there is room for restoration. But I want to pray for you. I want you to receive from the depth of your heart. I stretch my hands towards you and I decree and declare. I call upon the God who helps men. The one who helps men to rise. The one who helps men to thrive. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to command strange results from tonight. Begin to command strange results from tonight. Strange results from tonight. Extraordinary results from tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your passion for the things of God. Your passion for the things of the Spirit. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. Now hear me. I want you to receive this prayer. I want to pray for you. There are many of you, I'm saying it prophetically. Between now and December, you will stand here to dedicate your own home. I say it by the God who sent me in the name of Jesus Christ. And for some of you, as it is now, you may not even have work to do. But you see, God is ever willing to make his power manifest. I say it again, by his favor, may God start sorting your personal needs. Please hear me. For some of you, while I described the human body, I perhaps call systems that are physically failing in your own body. While it was an analogy to explain the kingdom systems for victory, for some of you, you were just wondering and saying, Apostle is just calling this thing. Anything that has entered your body and has vowed to cut short your life, I command it must jump out of your body now. It must jump out of your body now. It must jump out of your systems, out of your organs, now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to speak over your finances. If you don't need it, you can receive it for someone else. But I want to pray over your finances. There is an advantage we have. In addition to our value, our wisdom, relationships, there is the grace of God that engenders favor. You find that in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8. I like how the Bible puts it. It says, and God is able to make all grace, not some grace, all grace are bound towards you that ye always having all sufficiency 
sufficiency means the capacity to always rise to the occasion never disappointing in all things it says may abound to every good work i decree and declare in the name of jesus the son of the living god for someone here regardless the financial mountains that stand before you i call upon my god who is also your god let things begin to change supernaturally open financial doors 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 in the name of jesus christ it says the lord is my shepherd i shall not want i decree and declare whatever makes resources to go out of your hands whether is the careless use of them or a demonic manipulation whatever be the case i decree and declare the grace to retain resources receive it now are you ready for favor I will pray this one today i will pray it at the miracle service next week i will continue to pray it till you become a living expression of the favor of god let me pray it for you what is in favor huh. favor has the ability to accelerate your life and your destiny favor has the supernatural ability to bring to end seasons of hardship seasons of all kinds of things most people have not understood the also passing excellency of carrying the genuine grace for favor and i have told you the proof of favor is not money money is the least thing you can be given as a result of favor the proof of favor is when god connects you to the hearts of men that you call on one man and a nation is ready to respond to you and even to attend to your needs i don't know who that person is but i'm stretching my hands towards you that grace i lay my hands on my own head and i pray by the privilege of the election of grace may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you rest upon you rest upon you this grace called favor let it rest upon you let it rest upon you in the city in the country let it rest upon you in the name of jesus christ that you become a living evidence of what god can do with men in the name of jesus christ and by this impartation of favor i call forth whoever has been mandated by god to participate in your rising whether you know them or not i declare this week by the power that raised christ from the dead may they show up in your life may they show up in your life in the name of jesus christ hear me final prayer whatever has refused to move forward you have moved it by your energy you have moved it intellectually you have outsourced men to move it but it has refused to move i stand by the the, the advantage of the prophetic i move you forward i move you forward make constructive progress in the name of jesus christ For in Jesus name we pray you have believed it your eyes will see it your hands will handle it I say it again your eyes will see it and your hands will handle it in Jesus name we pray hallelujah in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare that you return next week a sign and a wonder this week beginning i declare over your life that every mountain and every challenge that has stood before you every issue of concern that you came here with in the name of jesus that mountain falls like dagon before the ark 
all those who are traveling to various locations this week we declare your journey is blessed you are blessed in your office you are blessed in the place of assignment your families are blessed our children here in this ministry are blessed in the name of Jesus as a nation we confer the blessing of the Lord upon this nation and we declare no bad news no evil report in the name of Jesus Christ no eye has seen no ear has heard what God has prepared for me here's the prayer so I submit to his work in me till Christ be formed in me no eye has seen no ear has heard what God has prepared for me so I submit to his work in me are you ready to pray this second prayer lord the circumcision that must happen to me to be able to host the new that you are bringing that circumcision of the flesh that circumcision in my heart lord let it happen expand me everything that needs to be done in my life to carry these superior levels of grace prosperity wisdom influence access let it happen someone is praying you are a kingdom financier pray it is not just give me give me give me your first prayer is make me make me before give me don't just pray and say give me billions no this version of you will be an ineffective and inefficient steward walk upon my heart so that my hands will be faithful walk upon my heart so that my bank account will be faithful walk upon my heart so that my sermons will be accurate walk upon my heart so that the results will be authentic in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i stretch my hands over you by the power that raised christ from the dead be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now i speak to you in the name of jesus like prophet eli spoke over hannah according to ah, i'm seeing fire this is what i'm seeing i'm just seeing fire move over people satan the lord rebuke you release them now release them now release them now release them now in the name of jesus christ release them now i stand in partnership with the holy ghost and i declare be fruitful be fruitful be fruitful the lord gave it as a command we stand as a ministry and enforce it over your life and as i'm praying for these ones anyone in the congregation who is trusting god for the miracle of fruitfulness fire is falling in the name of jesus i declare be fruitful be fruitful